these are the tunes that showed us that love truly is a four-letter word. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and join us today as we count down our picks for the top 10 anti-Valentine's Day songs. These songs showed us all the downside of romance and the pains of broken hearts everywhere, letting everyone without a Valentine understand they are not alone. You may want to grab a box of tissues for this one. She's out of my life. Number 10. She Hates Me. Puddle of Mud. Met a girl, thought she was grand. Fell in love, found out first hand. Inspired by an angry ex-girlfriend, guitarist Jimmy Allen penned this post-grunge hit about the feeling of being on the receiving side of female rage. I was living one big lie, she f***ing hates me. Just hates me. With simple lyrics and a catchy chorus that is easy to sing along to, this song embodies the frank understanding of what happens when we are in the midst of an argument with our main squeeze. Now it's over. While the original name for the track was more R-rated, the song still contains strong profanities when referring to the narrator's other half. Number 9. Wrecking Ball. Miley Cyrus. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain, we jumped. Never asking why. This song made waves with its controversial nude Miley filled music video. Yet the song itself spins a tale of codependency, lack of boundaries, and the struggle of being emotionally pushed out by someone you love. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. With a pleading and desperate tone, vivid imagery, and haunting melody, there is no denying the relationship portrayed in this pop ballad was doomed from the start. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you to let me in. A track originally written for Beyonce, the songwriters thought the song would be better suited for the twerking princess. All I wanted was to break you up. All you ever did was break me. Number 8. I Hate Everything About You. Three Days Grace. Every time we lie awake. This early 2000s alternative rock headbanger cuts to the chase while dealing with a tumultuous relationship, asking over and over why we decide to still have feelings for someone we can't stand. I hate everything about you. Exploring themes of abuse, desperation, and feeling stuck in a situation we have no idea how to get out of. This painful portrait of dysfunction is identifiable with anyone who ever wasted their time on a dead-end love affair. Not the best song to listen to with a significant other. Number 7. F it. I don't want you back. Amon. See, I don't know why I liked you so much. Sometimes we look back on a relationship and ask ourselves, what the hell was I thinking? What I said, it don't mean now. This smooth RB jam portrays this feeling flawlessly. With to the point lyrics and F bombs dropped left and right, the sentiments of this song are clear as this guy is moving on from a lady who did him wrong with little remorse. What I said, it told me now. The presents might as well grow on now. There has been much speculation as to who the subject of the song truly is, with many fingers pointing to New York singer Frankie, who released a track in response to Amon's controversial tune. What I did was your fault somehow. The presents I threw all that now. Gone the crying, it didn't mean Right 
Number 6. Heartbreaker, Pat Benatar. This gritty hard rock anthem is filled with raw energy as it depicts a man who is destined to break hearts everywhere. Originally recorded by British singer Jenny Darren, Pat Benatar adjusted some of the lyrics to make them appeal more towards an American audience. With powerful drums and guitar flooding her already strong vocals, this song has lived on as a hymn for jilted lovers everywhere. Benatar was clearly thinking of Broken Hearts Everywhere when she recorded this classic. You're a heartbreaker, dream maker, love taker, don't you mess around with me. You're a heartbreaker, dream maker, love taker, don't you mess around with me. Number 5. Yesterday. The Beatles. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. This single from the Fab Four was a departure from their earlier light-hearted and poppy love songs. Featuring a solo Paul McCartney on acoustic guitar and backed by a lingering string ensemble, the catchy melody and sorrow-filled lyrics paint a picture of the longing to grasp onto past happiness. There's a shadow hanging over me for oh, yesterday came suddenly Becoming one of the most covered songs in history, it's safe to say this song will live on yesterday, today, and for years to come. Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Number 4. Heartbreak Warfare, John Mayer Sometimes, a relationship is more of a battlefield than a walk in the park. This light and airy tune layers soft vocals over powerful guitar riffs with lyrics that depict a relationship that is shrouded in pain and conflict. One side of the pair begging to mend the damage, the other finds new ways to wound the already crumbling relationship beyond repair. Featuring Mayer's signature vocals, it is commonly thought that this track was written about the singer's romance with Jennifer Aniston. Number 3. We are never, ever getting back together. Taylor Swift. I remember when we broke up the first time, saying this is it, I've had enough. This upbeat track breathes new life into songs about romantic woe, as T Swizzle lays out in detail all of the reasons she is saying bye bye to her beau for good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we are never, ever, ever getting back. With a catchy and lighthearted chorus, realistic mid-song dialogue. I mean, this is exhausting, you know? Like we're never getting back together. Like ever. And the vibrancy of holding oneself to a higher standard when it comes to the affairs of the heart, this earworm just won't get out of your head. I used to think that we were forever, ever While Swift is no stranger to the breakup song, this one stands out among the rest for having an attitude like a sassy high school cheerleader and a catchy beat. Me. Number two, single ladies, put a ring on it, Beyonce. This is one tune that'll make you glad you're single on Valentine's Day. Queen Bee delivers this bold and feisty song about the first night out after a breakup, injected with confidence, freedom, and being proud of your single status. Creating an anthem to put a ring on it, this lady is settling for nothing less than forever and leaving less than stellar suitors in the dust. Phil 
filled with an infectious melody and badass attitude, this song will make any singles in the club put their hands up. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, someone like you, Adele. I heard that you settle down that you. This haunting song about forgiveness, regret, and the pain of losing a lover has become synonymous with breakups everywhere. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I had hoped you'd see my face. With pain-filled vocals, Adele describes meeting up with a former flame and seeing their happiness through a raw understanding of loss and acceptance. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. They say it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all, but this song reminds us all that the process of letting go is one of the most painful experiences we can ever have. Nothing compares, no worries or cares, regrets and mistakes, their memories made. Do you agree with our list? Which anti-Valentine's Day songs do you listen to on February 14th? For more music countdowns published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.